praise the Lord. Amen. Meantime, you don't know what he's really saying. Right. He done read two scriptures. Now he's talking for two hours. Anybody doing that, he tell, he tell he lying to you somewhere up in there. He's telling you some lies. Mm -hmm. And he tickling your ears. Right. Go ahead and read. Seven. Uh-huh. Have ye not seen a vain vision? Uh-huh. And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Go ahead. Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it. Uh-huh. A bit, a bit, I have all not be spoken. Albeit, uh huh. Albeit, I have not spoken. He said, you know what? You said the Lord said it and everything. He said, well, albeit, I have not even spoken it. And that's what I'm saying. If you can't find it in the book, then the Lord hasn't spoken it. Amen. So what are you doing then? Are you just playing church? Are you just going through the motions? Or are you trying to get salvation? Because I'm here trying to get salvation. I know everybody in here trying to get salvation. Amen. So what you know, you play it. You listen to the pastor, he done told you something, you can't find a book, then you still go to that church. You ain't doing nothing but play it. You're you fooling yourself. You ain't trying to get salvation. You just going through the motions. Because the first thing now, Cat started telling me something about what does say Lord said, can't read that to me. And that's what, you, that's what all of us should be saying. That's what every servant of God should be saying. Amen. That's what every person that wants to understand the word of God should be saying. First thing you say, well, oh, read that to me. And you know he can't read to you. You know he's faking it then, right? Amen. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Verse 8. Uh-huh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity uh -huh. and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, said the Lord God. Go ahead. See, the Lord ain't he's not pleased with this. You just can't come and say anything what does say the Lord. He ain't let Israel do it, so what makes you think he's going to let anybody else do it? You just can't come and say anything. God said this. God said that. Okay, read it to me. Well, you know, uh, well, then you might as well kick, kick rocks. Go ahead and read. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity uh -huh. and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. Go ahead. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Because even, because they have seduced my people. And that's what's going on now. People are being seduced. Rather being fed, they are being seduced. Go ahead. Say peace, and there was no peace. Uh huh. And one built up a wall, and lo, others abode. Daubed it. Daubed it with. Daubed it with un untempered mortar. Uh huh. So you know they tell a lie from generation to generation. They just keep the generation going. Just keep the lies going. Skip down to verse uh, uh, 17. Go ahead. Likewise, thy son of men, set thy face against the daughters of thy people. Uh oh, now the women now. Because, you know, they ain't escaping neither. <laughs> Just like he made out a punishment for the men that were uh, teaching out of their own imagination, he putting out a punishment for the women too that's teaching out of their own imagination. Because we got them, don't we? We got them in Israel. Stand up here. Uh, said that they, uh, the Lord said this, the Lord said that. He ain't said nothing to them neither. Because they ain't supposed to be standing right here. And then the Israel doing the Gentile doing the stranger, everybody doing it now. Go ahead and read it. Which prophesied out of their own heart. Uh, see, the women doing the same thing. They prophesied out of their own hearts. Go ahead and read. And prophesied thou against them. Uh huh. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, woe to the woman that sow pillows to all our hosts, uh -huh. and make kerchiefs. Go ahead. Uh, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Uh huh. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? Uh huh. And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? Go ahead. And will ye pollute me among my people for a handfuls? of belly and of peace of bread to slay the souls that should not die? See, that's what they're doing when you're not feeding the flock of God. You are slaying souls. 
And you're going to be held accountable for that. You're going to be held accountable for that, women. <clears throat> Go ahead and read. And to save the souls of life that should not live. Go ahead. By your lying to my people that hear your lies. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye were hunt the souls to make them fly. Uh -huh. and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Go ahead. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, and deliver my people out of your hand, uh -huh. and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Now this is talking future right here. This is talking future right here. Go ahead and read. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. You have made the heart of the righteous sad and my heart is truly sad today. When I see some of the things that people are teaching, even the women supposed to be calling themselves teaching. My heart is truly sad, especially for our people. Our people so far gone we don't even know who we are. Only thing we know is we came over here from Africa on slave ships. That's all we know. Cause why? Cause we're not being our people are not being fed. Go ahead and read. By this time, this is the twenty-first century. Our people should be fed, and we should at least know who we are. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you got Israelites popping up everywhere now, don't you? Look on the internet. Punch up black Hebrews. At least they you know they talk a little off sometimes, but and they got the costume. <laughs> but at least they know we Israel. But most of our people, psh, they don't. They, you know, Israel, like what a Jew? I ain't no Jew. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Twenty-two. Uh huh. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, uh -huh. whom I have not made sad. And strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he that he should not return from his wicked way uh -huh. by promising him life. Go ahead. Therefore, you see that's see what the, that's what these preachers now they doing. They're promising them life, but they teaching them wickedness though. Christmas, Easter, that's showing up wicked. You look up Easter, you see how wicked that is. That's showing up wicked, ain't it? Teaching them Sunday and all these type of things. Sunday, God, did God didn't tell, tell you to keep uh, 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 church on Sunday? He didn't tell you to do this. That's following after the sun God. But yet, that's what we got now, don't we? Verse 23, read that. Therefore, you shall see no more vanity, uh -huh. nor divine divination. Go ahead. For I will deliver my people out of your hand, uh -huh. and you shall know that I am the now, Lord. Now, this is talking future, right? He said, I'm going to deliver my people out of your hand, and you're going to know that I'm the Lord. Let's go to Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. Jeremiah 50. And we're going to pick it up at verse 6. Jeremiah 50 and verse 6. Jeremiah 60. 50 in verse 6. Jeremiah 50 and 6. You got it? Yep. Alright, let's read. Go ahead. My people have been lost sheep. Uh, my people have been lost sheep because that's what our people, that's the state and condition that we are in right now, aren't we? We are lost people. I'm talking about as a nation of people, we are lost people. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we come. Only thing we know we come from the continent of Africa. That's it. We don't know who our God is. We don't know none of our people, for the most part, don't know none of these things. Why? Because we are a lost sheep. Go ahead and read. My people have been lost sheep. Uh huh. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. The shepherds, the preachers, have caused us. Even this day to go astray. Go ahead and read. They have turned them away on the mountain. Uh-huh. They have gone from mountain to hill. Go ahead. They have forgotten their resting place. Uh-huh. All that found them have devoured them. All that found them have devoured them. All the countries that we have went to as slaves, those slave owners and those people have devoured us. And they, we are still being devoured. 
That's why you got uh, brothers and sisters dying on the streets by the head of uh, 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 police officers and everything. Because we're still being devoured. Go ahead and read. And the adversary said, <laughs> we offend not. See, they don't think they're offended when they're killing each other. So us killing them, we're not offended. Hmm. We need to start in-house first, don't we? We need to start showing our people who they are, who our God is. That's why we got all the murder and the uh, chaos and, and everything in our communities. Because yeah. our people don't know who we are. We don't, they don't know who our, we don't know who our God is. Yeah. Read verse 7 again. All that found them have devoured them. Uh -huh. And that adversary said, we offend not. Uh -huh. Because they have sinned against the Lord. See, because they have sinned against the Lord. A bunch of wicked people, so you understand, we, you know, we don't have to pay them no mind. We can do what we want to do with those people. And that's what they have been doing, aren't they? Haven't they? God is allowing these, allowing men to do this to us. Why? Because our people won't turn back to him. Go ahead and read. The habitation of justice. Even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Uh, now, since our people have not been fed, have we? Like, like, uh, 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 like the people, like the children of Israel of old. Those brothers and sisters was getting fed, wasn't they? Those prophets was feeding them. Let's go down to the first century with the apostles and Jesus. Their people were being fed, wasn't they? Yeah. Who feeding us now? I'm talking about as a people. Who feeding us now? Hey, you got a few churches like ours. You understand? But if you stack all of us together, then I bet you ten times the amount of people are going to be, uh, it's going to be ten times more people on that side than on this side, the side of the Lord. Why? Because the flock is not being fed. But we're going to teach the flock, though, aren't we? Amen. We're going to teach the flock. Amen. We're going to do the work of evangelists. Yes. Like I said all the time, I will hope for us to I want us to be the largest Israelite camp in Lake County. And we're gonna get there one day. Amen. We're gonna stay steadfast in the word. We're gonna continue on. Yes. Let's go now. Let's go to Mark the first chapter. Mark the first chapter. Mark 1, and we're gonna pick it up at verse 14. Mark 1 and 14. Go ahead and read. Now, after that, John was put in prison. Uh -huh. Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. See, you see what Jesus was preaching? The gospel of the kingdom of God. And that's, we always preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, don't we? But, you know, people not listening, they don't understand that the kingdom of God is near. It's on its way. It's right around the corner. Ain't nobody paying attention. Just like during the times of Noah, the Lord flooded the earth, but nobody paying attention to Noah. Just like ain't nobody paying attention. We like sheep uh, 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 crying in the wilderness. We like sheep crying in the wilderness. Ain't nobody listening. Oh, but they're going to listen, though, one day. When the Lord started pouring his wrath out on this earth, when he set the abomination of desolation up, when he set him up, and World War III happens, then they're going to be trying to say, well, what were those Israelites saying? Because ain't nobody listening now. And then the shepherds, they're not feeding the flock. Because it's all about money now, ain't it? Go ahead and read. 15. Uh-huh. And saying... The time is fulfilled. Go ahead. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Uh huh. Repent ye. Go ahead. And believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. Now, keep reading. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, uh huh. He saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into uh -huh. the sea. Go ahead. For they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, uh huh. Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And that's what we want to be, right? We Amen. want to be fishers of men. We want to feed the flock, don't we? Amen. Jesus called his disciples and said, you know what? Come here, I want to make y'all fishers of men. And that's what we want to be. Fishers of men. Go ahead and read. 18. Uh-huh. 
and straightway they forsake their nets uh -huh. and followed him. Now you see what they did? They put down what they were doing and followed him. So you need to put down what you are doing and follow him. Ain't nothing more important than this. If, if, if you try to make something more important than this, then you're not going to follow him. So then you need to put down what you're doing and start following him. And he'll make you official men. Whatever we got going on in our life, it's not more important than this. So you need to put that down and make this the most important thing in your life right here. Go ahead and read. And when he had gone, and when he had gone a little further thence, uh -huh. he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. Go ahead. Who also were in the ship mending their nets. Uh huh. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. Uh huh. And they went into. A Catherine, Capernaum, Capernaum, uh -huh. and straightway on the Sabbath day. Now, see, I just wanted to read this right here. <laughs> and straightway on the Sabbath day, what happened? And straightway of the Sabbath day, uh -huh. he entered into the synagogue uh -huh. and taught. He entered into the synagogue and did what? And taught. And taught. Not just rambling on and hollering and screaming and stuff and shouting and all that stuff. He went there and talked. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go to uh, John the 17th chapter. John 17. John 17, and we're going to pick it up at verse 14. John 17 and 14. Because he called his disciples, didn't he? <clears throat> John 17 and 14. Go ahead and read it. I have given them thy word. Uh huh. And the world has hated them. And that's what's going to happen to you. So, you know, don't give up, though. You know, God has given you the word. You try to give somebody the world going to hate you. Don't give up, though. Still feed the flock. So flock. who are we looking for? The wise man. He's going to hear and he's going to increase learning. Ain't he? All the other ones that don't want to keep in, just step off from them. Okay. You don't want to hear? Okay. We want to reach the wise man that, that wants to hear the word of God and increase his learning. Go ahead and read. I have given them thy word. Uh-huh. And the world hath hated them. Go ahead. Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. See, you can't be of the world and be a friend of God, too. Go ahead and read. I pray not that thou should have taken them out of the world, uh -huh. but that thou should have keep them from the evil. Go ahead. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Uh-huh. Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them. How do you get sanctified? <laughs> he said, sanctify them through thy truth. Go ahead and read. Thy word is true. Now, what's the truth? The Sabbath day, that's the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Jesus, when he come back, he going to reign on the earth. Hey, that's the truth, baby. Mm -hmm. Sanctify them through thy truth, for thy word is true. Look, he even sanctified us by the food that we eat, don't he? This is how you sanctify them. Go ahead and read. As thou this is how we feed the flock. Nobody, people say, well, you know, uh, well, you know, y'all don't eat no pork. And, you know, uh, God uh, uh, said that uh, uh, men can eat anything, just pray over it. We are, we're not praying over no unclean food and saying that you can eat it. Because that's not true, is it? That's not true. Go ahead and read. 18. Uh -huh. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Now he's talking about the apostles now. He said, that, 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 like you sent me in the world, Lord, I have sent the apostles in the world. Go ahead and read. And for their sakes I sanctify myself. Uh huh. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. Through what? The truth. The truth. Go ahead and read. This is what we got to feed the flock. The truth. Because his word is truth. Go ahead and read. Neither pray. I for these alone, uh -huh. but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Now he said, neither I pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me, what? Through, through their, their words. Word. Now who's word he talking about? He's talking about the apostles, isn't he? The one that's going to not only believe on the prophets, but believe on the apostles too. 
Because, you know, people got a problem with, with the New Testament. You know, the Gentiles wrote that. The Gentiles did this to me when it comes to the New Testament. No. Gentiles ain't wrote this. They might have put it in a uh, wrote it in English and stuff like that, but Israel wrote this book. And it was inspired by God. Let's go now. Let's go to John the 21st chapter. John 21. John 21, and we're going to pick up at verse 15. And look at what the Lord told Peter. Uh, uh, 21 and 15. Go ahead and read it. So when they had, so when they had died, uh -huh. Jesus said unto Simon Peter, uh -huh. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Uh -huh. He said unto them, Yea, Lord, uh -huh. thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said, Feed my lambs. Is he talking about feed them nat with natural food? No, he's not talking about feed them with natural food. But I'm gonna show you. Go ahead and read. He said to him again the second time, uh -huh. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto me, Yea, Lord. He said unto him, Yea, Lord, uh-huh. Thou knowest that I love thee. Uh-huh. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Because this is what the this is what was the problem back then, and this is what the problem is right now. The feet and the sheep are not being fed. Go ahead and read. He said unto him the third time, uh -huh. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Now why do you suppose he said it two or three times? He tried to get this message over to him, didn't he? Feed my sheep. Feed my lambs. Go ahead and read. Peter was grieved because he said unto him uh -huh. the third time, uh -huh. lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Go ahead. Thou knowest that I love thee. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. So he was serious about this one. Amen. He told him three times, look, Peter, feed my sheep. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to feed the sheep. Time out for all that hearsay and all that stuff and theology and, you know, and, uh, uh, traditions of men and all that. We're going to feed the sheep, man. Amen. That's what we're going to do. Yes. We don't care who come try to talk against us because it's not our word. You can't. You ain't gonna be able to stand against the word of the Lord. I don't care who you are. Amen. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed them with what? The word of God. Thy word is truth. Let's go to Ephesians fourth chapter. Ephesians four. So he said, "Feed my sheep." Ephesians four, and we're gonna pick it up at verse. Uh, four. Ephesians 4 and 4. Because like I said earlier, you got all these different so-called denominations and church and, and all this. We don't even mention Muslims and all of that stuff. Because we know that that ain't the word of God. Buddhists and all. We know that that ain't the word of God. We're talking to the ones that call themselves uh, serving the God of this Bible. That's who we talk to. I don't care if you call yourself a Baptist, a Methodist, a Lutheran, whatever you call yourself. Israel, <laughs> we're talking to you too. Ephesians 4, and we're going to pick it up in verse 4. Ephesians 4 and 4. And that's not being pompous or arrogant or none of that. You should listen, you should hear some of the things that people are saying now and call themselves teaching the Word of God. Somebody got to stand up. Somebody got to stand in the gap, don't they? Yeah. And we the Israelites, we the ones that were supposed to be teaching God's word. So we got to stand in the gap, don't we? Yeah. We can't go along with the status quo. Yeah. We got to stand in the gap. We got to stand up for the truth. Ephesians 4 and 4. Go ahead and read it. There is one body. That is, that is one church. Go ahead. And one spirit. That is the word. Go ahead. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Uh-huh. One Lord. Uh-huh. One faith. That's one faith. This is one belief. We all supposed to be believing the same thing. The pro uh, God gave it to the head of, uh, angel. God gave it to the prophets. Right? The apostles learned it from the prophets. And we, we've been blessed. Because we got the prophets and the apostles. So we've been blessed. Yeah. 
<coughs> but it's one faith, one belief. Go ahead and read. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Uh-huh. One God and Father of all. Uh-huh. Who is above all and through all and in you all. Now, skip down to verse 8. Skip down to verse 8. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive uh -huh. and gave gifts unto men. And he gave gifts unto men. Skip down to verse 11. Go ahead. What are these gifts? And he gave some apostles. They in the book. Go ahead. And some prophets. That's they in the book. Go ahead. And some evangelists. Uh -huh. Now you can become an evangelist. Go ahead. And some pastors. Uh -huh. And teachers. And you can be a pastor. You can be a teacher. Not the women. Women can teach. But they're not supposed to be pastors. You don't see no women pastors in the book. He said he gave some apostles, some prophets. Now these are all in the book. And some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Why did he give them this? Go ahead and read. For the perfecting. Perfecting. For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints. This way he wants you to feed the flock. That's why he gave some, that he gave these gifts unto men. Cause for the perfecting of the saints, for you to feed the flock. Go ahead and read. For the work of the ministry. Uh-huh. For the edifying of the body of Christ. For the edifying of the church of Christ. That is this body. For the edifying of it. Let's go now. Let's go to uh let's go to Acts the 20th chapter. Acts 20. Acts 20, and we're going to pick up at verse 18. Acts 20 and 18. When you get it, go ahead and read it. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, uh -huh. Ye know, from the first day that I came into Asia, after that manner, I have been with you at all seasons. Uh huh. Serving the Lord with all humanity of mind. Humility of mind, uh huh. Humility of mind, and with many tears. Go ahead. And temptations which befell me by the lying in wait of the Jews. Uh huh. And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you. See, you see, I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you. And so we, as uh, uh, servants of God, we should not keep back anything that is probable to another person that's seeking. We should not be keeping back anything from them. I mean, I don't, you don't go over and tell them the first day, you know, you got to be circumcised. You don't want to scare them away. You understand? You let them come in gradually. Then you hit them with the circumcision. Let them get in first. Let them get filled up a little bit. You understand? Then you tell them, well, man, you know, you got to be circumcised. He'd be more apt to get circumcised then. Why? Because now he feel the Lord. You understand? He understands that, look, I got to do this. Just like, just like the rest of us. We understood that, look, uh, 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 we, we had to feel the Lord. We understood his commandments. We understood the Sabbath day and all this, right? So when somebody springs the uh, uh, circumcision on me, I was like, yeah, well, I got to do it then. I mean, I don't want to, you understand, but I know I got to, so I got to do it. I was more apt to do it. But if somebody came to me the first day and said, well, look, man, you got to be certain. So I'd be like, wait a minute. God didn't say, I'd be saying this like everybody, everybody else to call themselves certain. God didn't say that. Then, after you say God didn't say that, now you ain't going to look and see what God said now. Because you already got in your mind that God didn't say that, and I ain't getting circumcised. Right. So you don't spring that on nobody first. You just let the brother or sister start teaching them, give them a sincere milk of the word of God. Give them the milk first. Then you start hitting them with the heavy stuff, hitting them with the meat. Everybody understand? Amen. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Verse 20. Uh-huh. And how I kept my back nothing that was probable unto you. Uh-huh. But I have showed you. And have taught you publicly. Go ahead. And from house to house. He said, I taught you publicly. And from house to house. Go ahead and read. That's what you don't do the work of evangelists. Mm -hmm. You understand? Go out in the, we can go out in the public and start teaching this. We're going to stand up there like the brothers be on, on YouTube with the microphone hollering at people. No, don't do that. Right. 
You understand what I'm saying? You're going you to stand up and do the work of the evangelist. You do the work of the evangelist. Don't be standing up hollering and screaming and cussing at nobody. We don't do that. Right. Go ahead and read. Testify both to the Jews and also to the Greeks. See, we don't care who you are. We don't care if you're uh, uh, Israelite. We don't care if you're a stranger. We're going to testify to you. Go ahead and read. Repentance toward God. Uh-huh. And faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep reading. And now, behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, uh -huh. not knowing the things that shall befall me there. Go ahead. Save that. Oh, he was all in, wasn't he? <coughs> he was all in. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go to Jerusalem bound. I don't care what happened to me. Though. I don't know what's going to happen to me. You know, so he was living in some dangerous times, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. This is going to get like that again. Just hold on to your seat. Because <clears throat> it's going to get like that again. We're going to be living in dangerous times. We're already living in dangerous times, but it's going to really get hot and dangerous. Oh, you teaching that again? Oh, grab him. We're going to cut his head off. Times are coming. Go ahead and read, though. I don't want to scare nobody. But then, the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of the wisdom, ain't it? Amen. Go ahead and read. Maybe we start telling people what the, what's, what's to come, what's going to happen to them. Maybe they start listening in, huh? But go ahead and read, though. Save that the Holy Ghost witness in every city, uh -huh. saying that bonds and afflictions are binding. Go ahead. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, uh -huh. so that I might finish my course with joy. So that I might finish my course with joy. He said, I'm going to go through these bonds and afflictions and everything, but I'm still going to finish my course with, uh, course with joy. What is he talking about? Feed the flock of God. I'm still going to feed them. Although all these things are going to happen to me, I'm still going to feed them though. Go ahead and read. And the ministries uh -huh. which I have received of the Lord Jesus. See, go ahead. To testify the gospel of the grace of God. Uh -huh. And now, behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone, preaching the kingdom of God. Wait a minute, wasn't that what Jesus was preaching? The kingdom of God? Now Paul said he preached the same thing, the kingdom of God. And that's what we're supposed to be preaching, the kingdom of God. Go ahead and read. Shall see my face no more. Uh-huh. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. Uh-huh. For I have not stood. Because, because the Lord told us, look, look uh, uh, Ezekiel, you go and warn the people, right, that their blood don't be upon your head. If you go and warn them and they don't hear, then their own blood will be upon their own head. So Paul said, look, I am free for the blood of men. I have taught them. I will feed the flock. Go ahead and read. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel See, of God. See, he said, you know, I wasn't shy to declare unto you all the counsel of God. He gave them everything, didn't he? Go ahead and read. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves uh -huh. and to all the flock. And to all the flock, go ahead. Over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. Ooh. Over to which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. Go ahead and read. To feed the church of God. To feed the church of God. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Feed the church of God. Go ahead and read. Which he hath purchased with his own blood. See, he purchased this church with his blood. Go ahead and read. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. He knew they was coming. He knew it just like now. We know they come, you know, you go and teach somebody next thing you know, they go back to their old church or whatever, and he done turned them back. Grievous wolves. Go ahead, you did. Paul, he really put it down, did he? laid it down, he said, grievous wolves. Go ahead and read. Not sparing the flock. Not sparing the flock. They don't care about the flock. Their own shepherds pity them not. Go ahead and read. Also of your own selves shall men arise, uh -huh. speaking perverse things, uh -huh. to draw away disciples after them. Now, what, ain't that what's going on now? Men have spoken these perverse things to draw people after them. That's what's going on now. Nobody wants to feed the flock, do they? But when you feed the flock, you have to be feeding them the truth. Because if you don't, you're going to pay for it. 
You are going to pay for it. Let's go to uh, let's go to uh, 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 Second Timothy the third chapter. We got that long ago. Second Timothy three, and we're going to pick it up at verse ten. Second Timothy three and ten. Second Timothy three and ten. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read it. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Uh-huh. Manner of life. Now this is what, this is the wisdom that you must get. This is the wisdom that you must get. Look where it's coming, look where the wisdom is coming from. He said, thou hast fully known my doctrine. Go ahead. Manner of life. Uh-huh. Purpose. Go ahead. Faith. Long suffering. Uh-huh. Charity. Patience. You got this? Because if you ain't got this, then you better grow up to this. We all got to have this right here. We got to grow up to this. He said, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, uh, 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 pur purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. Go ahead and read. Persecutions, afflictions, uh -huh. which came unto me at An Antioch. Uh-huh. At Isolia, Itonia, uh -huh. at Lystra, uh -huh. what pers persecutions uh -huh. I endured. What persecutions I endured. Because this comes with the territory. Go ahead and read. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Ah, that's the difference right there. The Lord is going to deliver you out of all of them. All of your persecutions. Go ahead. Yay. Uh -huh. And all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Ooh, this comes along with the job right here. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus is going to suffer persecution. This goes along with the job. But go ahead and read though. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Uh-huh. Deceiving and being deceived. Go ahead. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Go ahead. And hast been assured of. of uh huh. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Uh huh. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. What? what, what from the child that has known. You, you mean he telling Timothy about the scriptures? The scriptures of what? From Genesis to Malachi. Those are the scriptures. Go ahead and read. We he said, from a child that, 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 and that from a child that has known the Holy Scriptures, go ahead. Which are able to make them wise Stop unto right salvation. Stop right there. Which are able to make them wise unto salvation. You see what's going to make you wise? The Scriptures. The truth. That's what's going to make you wise. This is what you have to feed the flock with. Wisdom. The Scriptures going to make you wise. Go ahead and read. Through faith, uh -huh. which is in Christ Jesus. Go ahead. So they say, and from a child I know the Holy Scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith in, uh, is, which is in Christ Jesus. Look what's going to make you wise. That's why we stand up here, we read you the law and the prophets, don't you? Because of the law and the testimony, they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. That's why we read you. You know, people, well, we New Testament Christians. See, you going back to that old, all type of excuses. But then nobody going to read this right here. Well, Paul said, everybody want to read Paul's writing to try to condemn what you said, but they don't want to read this stuff. See what's going to make you wise? The scriptures. He said the scriptures not only they going to make you wise unto salvation through faith, which is in who? Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. This is going to make you wise. Go ahead and read. All scripture is given by inspiration All of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration of man. Did it say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it said all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. So we know it's the truth then, don't we? Go ahead and read. And it's profitable for doctrine. Uh-huh. For reproof. Uh-huh. For correction. Go ahead. For instructions in righteousness. For instructions in righteousness. And that's what we want to feed people, right? Instructions for righteousness. That's what you want to feed the flock. Instruction for righteousness. Why? That the man of God may be perfect. Uh-huh. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That he may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly furnished. 
Let's go now. Let's go to uh, let's go to Proverbs the fourth chapter. Proverbs four. So remember something. I want you to remember this right here. Proverbs four and one. Proverbs four and one. When you get it, go ahead and read it. Proverbs four and one. Go ahead. Hear ye children the instructions of a father. Uh-huh. And attend to know understanding. And attend to know understanding. Go ahead and read. For I give you good doctrine. Uh-huh. Forsake ye not my law. Go ahead. For I for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Uh-huh. He taught me also and said unto me, let thy heart retain my word. Let thy heart, your mind, let it retain my words. Go ahead and read. Keep my commandments and live. Now you see what the Lord said? Keep my commandments and live. Go ahead and read. Because if you don't keep the commandments, what's going to happen to you? You're going to die. You're going to die. Go ahead and read. Get wisdom. Uh-huh. Get understanding. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Go ahead and read. Forget it not. See, you can't go off the, uh, 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 the uh, discernment and uh, the spirit of other men. He said, when you get wisdom, get understanding. Go ahead and read. Forget it not. Uh -huh. Where does wisdom and understanding come from? Right here. This is where it comes from. This is what you feed the flock. This is what you feed them. Right here, this wisdom and understanding. Not your own or not some theological concepts. Go ahead and read. Forget it not. Uh huh. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Go, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Go ahead. Forsake her not. Uh huh. And she shall preserve thee. She going to do what? Preserve thee. She going to preserve thee. Wisdom is. She going to preserve thee. Go ahead and read. Love her. Uh huh. And she shall keep thee. Go ahead. Wisdom is the principal thing. That's what I want you to remember right here. Wisdom is the principal thing. You get understanding, boy. Man, you never know where the Lord might take you to. You get his wisdom, you never know where he might take you to. Wisdom is the principal thing. Go ahead and read. Therefore, get wisdom. Uh-huh. And with all thy getting, get understanding. And with all your getting, get understanding. Get understanding. Let's go now. Let's go to James, the first chapter. James, the first chapter. Because right now, if you like wisdom, then you just ask to the Lord. He'll give it to you. If you're sincere and you really want to do this, and you're not going, just going through the motions, and you really want to understand God's word and do it, he'll give it to you. Amen. James 1 and we're going to pick it up at verse 5. James 1 and 5. Go ahead and read it. If any of you lack wisdom, uh -huh. let him ask of God. Let him ask of God. Go ahead. That giveth to all men li liberally. Now, he ain't going to come down here and give it to you himself, is he? How are you going to hear without preaching? Somebody got to teach you this. That's how he gonna, uh, God is going to give to all men liberally. Go ahead. And upbraideth not. Uh huh. And it shall be given him. And, and, you shall, and it shall be given you. Go ahead. But let him ask in faith. Uh huh. Nothing wavering. Go ahead. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Uh huh. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Go ahead. A double minded man is understood. Usable, unusable, unstable, unstable in all his A double-minded man is unstable in all his So you got to be on, and when it comes to the Lord in his word, you got to have a one-track mind. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Not no, my preacher said, or the brother over here said, no, no. What does, thus saith the Lord? One-track mind. Amen. Now this, you know, people got one-track mind with other things, but when it comes to this thing, <laughs> they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go now. Let's go to, he said, a double-minded man is unstable in all his way, did it? Let's go now. Let's go to Colossians, the first chapter. Because, you know, the Lord got, 
uh, uh, told Paul to tell his Colossians to be filled with this. Something. Colossians 1 and 9. Colossians 1 and 9. Because wisdom is a principal thing, ain't it? He said, with all I get, get understanding. Colossians 1 and 9. Colossians 1 and 9. Go ahead and read it. For this, for this cause we also, since the day we heard it, uh -huh. do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will. That you might be filled with the knowledge of his will, uh-huh. In all wisdom and spiritual Ooh, understanding. He said all wisdom and what? Spiritual Spiritual understanding. Because this is what you're supposed to be feeding the flock. Mm -hmm. Spiritual wisdom and spiritual understanding. That's what we're supposed to be feeding the flock. Go ahead and read. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Uh-huh. That you might walk worthy unto the Lord unto all pleasing. What verse you at? Verse 10. Uh-huh. Being fruitful in every good work. Uh-huh. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Skip down to verse, uh, skip down to verse uh, 28. Go ahead. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. And teaching every man, because uh, you know, commands, you know they warn you, right? I think that Psalms, uh, the uh, uh, 19th chapter, you're warned by the commandments. So when we shout out the commandments, that's what we do. We warn the people of the God of Israel. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. Go ahead. That we may present every man perfect in Christ Didn't Jesus. Didn't he tell you that the man of God will be thoroughly furnished? He wants the man of God to be thoroughly furnished? This is how he thoroughly furnished. With wisdom. The wisdom of the Lord. Let's go now. Let's go to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. 2 Timothy 4. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 2 Timothy 4 and 1. We got a few more to go. 2 Timothy 4 and 1. Second Timothy four and one. Timothy. Go ahead and read. Second Timothy four and one. Go ahead. I charge thee therefore before God uh -huh. and the Lord of Jesus Christ. Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearance A in his you. kingdom? A little wisdom <laughs> for you. See when he gonna judge. See everybody. People say when they die, they going to heaven and everything. You either going to heaven or you going to hell when you die. He said, "I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead, when at His appearing." So He haven't appeared yet, has He? So He haven't judged the living and the dead yet, did has He? So where is everybody else that has died? Where are they? Still in the grave. A little wisdom for you. A little wisdom for you. Go ahead and read. Preach the word. Uh huh. Be intense in season. Out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Reprove, rebuke with what? All long suffering and doctrine. Why? For the time.